Hey guys, it's Alan. It's January 2nd, 2013, and this is my closing arguments for 2012. Um, if you remember, I remember, if you remember, I did a 2011 closing arguments. I'm going to link that right here so you can watch that from last year. Um, I watched it last night. It was kind of cool to see the, you know, the difference in how I looked and, you know, what I was thinking about and my, what I was thinking at the end of last year to where I am now. Um, so make sure you check it out. But um, uh, just to go back real quick, uh, at the end of 2011, um, I basically said that um, you know that I had I, w I weighed more than I did in 2010 by a little bit, but that I had really learned a lot throughout the year, and I did. Um, even though I, I struggled with my weight, I, I learned an extreme amount of information. I learned about myself. I learned about you know more about working out, more about food. And I applied that to 2012 and had a great year. Overall, I lost uh, around 50 pounds. Um, so I was very excited, very happy about that. And, um, you know, I just I, mentally I'm in a very great place. I'm, you know, I'm not uh, stressed out. I'm not uh, struggling uh, mentally. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't feel frustrated. I'm just, you know, continuing to stay positive, continuing to move forward. And I feel great. I'm really starting this year feeling awesome. Uh, so that is really a positive thing. It's been, you know, it's been hard. It's been a long, slow journey for me. I um, you know, I started this, you know, back in 2009. So I've been at it now for three years. Um, so I've been three years continuously uh, living a healthy lifestyle and slowly losing weight every year. Um, you know, I'm not out to race anybody. I'm not out to, um, you know, you know, try to lose, you know, 100 pounds in two months or, you know, six months, you know, I, I'm trying to do this in a way where I could sustain the loss for the rest of my life. And, I, and I'm doing it the way that I feel like that's best for me. And that doesn't mean that it's best for you or anybody else or that your way is wrong. Maybe you're doing what's best for you too. And um, I, that's why I think, you know, people need to realize that is that everyone's journey is different. You know, you don't compare yours to anybody else's. Just do what works for you. And if you're doing something and it's not working, you know, just find something else, try it. If it, does, if it works, great. If it doesn't, try something else again. That's really, the, you know, that's really one of the best things that I've sort of, you know, been through the last three years is sort of experiencing different types of, you know, eating and workouts and, you know, all kinds of stuff to figure out what works for me. So overall, like I said, 2012 was a great year, ready to knock out 2013. I mean, 2013, I'm planning it to be, you know, huge. Um, huge thank you to all of you, all my friends from, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know, uh, fit blogging, fit blog, fit influential, uh, huge thank you to my coach, Amber the Hammer, you know, I love you like a brother, man. Um, you know, we've been working for a, together for a little bit over a year now and I owe so much to you. I've learned so much from you and I can't wait to, you know, continue working with you and, uh, and look forward to seeing, you know, the results of the future. But other than that, guys, that's really a wrap for me. I don't really want to spend a lot of time uh, dwelling on the past because, you know, we're in the future now. It's time to keep moving forward. Uh, the one thing I will say is, you know, this is a time of year when the gym is, so is you know, filled with so-called resolutioners. Let's show some love to these people, man. We, we've all been there. I've been there. You've been there. Most of us have. We know what it's like to join a gym for a New Year's resolution. We know what it's like to walk in in January 2nd and be nervous, intimidated. We know what it's like to give up. And still pay for that membership the rest of the year just because we're too embarrassed to go back and, and cancel it. You know, we should embrace everybody who's trying to, you know, take positive steps to change their life. Yeah, some of them will give up in a few weeks. But maybe some of them don't. Maybe some of them stick around. Maybe some of them change their lives. Maybe some of them, you know, help you. Maybe they, they inspire you. you. You never know. You never know who's going to inspire you. You never know who's going to, you know, come into your life or come out of your life. Um, so, please, people. Keep in mind, there are people just like me and you. Uh, they're just trying, you know, to better their lives. So um, just show them some love. So maybe show them, give them a few kind words, or help them out if they need help. Um, or maybe just do nothing at all. Just give them the respect that they deserve. So, anyways, guys, that's all I have. I have to finish cooking dinner and head to the gym. Um, what's made 2013 an awesome year? Talk to you guys soon. Take care.